Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number 19. I hope everybody is at home. Espero que cada quien ya esté en casa. Y esperamos un par de segundos mientras se conectan los demás. Good evening. Uh, Carly, hello. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Um, I'm okay, but I am lazy. I know. It's Monday, and Mondays are difficult. We already know that. Hey, I like your earphones. Your headphones are. <laughs> Thank nice. you. Yes. You look really nice. So, Let's uh, start with the topic. Vamos a ver mientras los demás se conectan. Jimmy, Francisco, Catherine, Angelic, que va de camino. Hello, good evening. Hey, teacher. Hello. Hello. Eh, Hello. Eh, quería comunicarle que a ver si me puede agregar con otro número en el grupo, ya que el teléfono que tenía anteriormente se me dañó y la tarea no la tengo. Para ver si me lo puede. Ok, vamos eh, a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer algo. Sí. Problem. Sí. No, Fátima. Eh, aquí en el, en el WhatsApp, perdón, en el, en el chat de Zoom, te acabo de enviar mi número de teléfono. Escribime ahí, yo te envío la tarea y yo, y yo te voy a agregar al grupo a través de un link. ¿Oíste? Porque okay, está bien. Okay. es que en el grupo de WhatsApp no soy admin, entonces no te puedes agregar a través del link. Entonces, uh, escríbeme y ahí te lo envío, ¿ok? Para que prepares también okay, la tarea bien. y todo. Ok, perfecto. Ok. Mm, perfect. So, let's see. Vamos a... Vamos a comenzar. We're going to start with... Um, this is the class number 19, es la penúltima clase, creo que es una buena noticia, ok. Eh, de ahí solo la clase de mañana y de ahí van a quedar en vacaciones. Very nice, very relaxed. So, um, we're going to have vocabulary practice, vamos a tener práctica de vocabulario, ok. And before we go with this, tenemos... Tenemos este, este vocabulario que para, bueno, para mí es súper, súper importante, que es ways to introduce someone, forma de presentar a alguien. Y cuando me refiero a presentar es que, pues, digamos, un nuevo miembro del equipo, del staff, un nuevo trabajador, puede ser un compañero, puede ser que tengan, que, o presentar un amigo a la familia, una amiga. So here we have different forms or options for you to introduce someone. La palabra introduce significa presentar, aunque parezca introducir, es presentar, ¿ok? Cuando tú utilizas la palabra present, se refiere a otros, a otros aspectos, ¿verdad? Como estar presente en algo y todo eso no es tanto como dar, brindar información de una persona. So, here we have ways to introduce someone y tenemos estas tres maneras. Number one, I'd like you to meet, y aquí dice el nombre, y pueden dar una referencia, algo, alguna información específica. Por ejemplo, I'd like you to meet Carl. He's a cashier. Then here we have the second option. I want to introduce you, Monica. She's a waitress. Or, have you met Nancy? She's an accountant. ¿Verdad? Entonces, la primera es, me gustaría presentarte a Carlos, Carl. Él es cajero. 
Luego tenemos, uh, quiero presentarte a Mónica, y es mesera. Y la, la última es, eh, ¿conoces a Nancy? Ella es contadora. Entonces, tenemos estas tres opciones. Ok, you have three options. Y lo que necesito que haga es que, pues, eh, utilicen cualquiera de estas opciones para, pues, para, para presentar a alguien. Ok, entonces, eso nos va a servir hasta cierto punto de práctica. Entonces, seleccionen cualquiera de esas tres opciones y le agregan el nombre o la información de esa persona. Puede ser un familiar, puede ser un compañero de trabajo. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, we're going to start with uh, Jimmy. Are you okay, Jimmy? Hello. Hello. Everything okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Bien. ¿Qué opción elegirías tú para presentar a alguien? Uh, number one. Ok, vamos a ver. Sería la, la, de, la de la que tiene eh, marcada en rectangular con rojo, las tres son, es diferente manera, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ajá. Ah, pues no, es mejor, es mejor la number three. Ok. Uh, have you met Nancy? She is... Sí, ah. sí, Jimmy. Pero lo que pasa es que quiero que tú, en lugar de Nancy, Ajá. le des otro nombre. Ah, ok. Des otra perdón, información. Perdón. Ajá. Yes. Ok. Entonces voy a cambiar a, el número dos. <ríe> okay. uh, I want to introduce your Stephanie. ¿Qué más? Stephanie, she is a customer service. Very nice. Customer service. Good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Carly, what about you? Um, I want to introduce you Mauricio. He is a journalist. Oh, very nice. He's a journalist. Good. And thank you. Let's listen to Marvin now. Okay, Marvin, could you? Good evening, teacher. Okay. I want to introduce to you Juan. Okay. He is a mechanic. Perfect. Very nice example. Thank you. Elizabeth, are you ready? Ready, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> How do you meet um, Susana? Uh -huh. She's um, a cashier. Okay, very nice. Solo que esta palabra se dice met. Si hay dos e, si se dice meet. De lo contrario, es met. Okay. Met. Okay. Very nice. What about um, uh, Mario? Are you ready? Yes, good night. Good evening. Good, okay, evening. Go ahead. Good evening. Um, go ahead. Hi, have you met, uh, met uh, Federico? Uh, he is my teammate in work. Uh, he is a consultant system. Oh, very nice. Yes, very detailed. Good one. Okay, now let's listen to Catherine and then Flor. Okay, Catherine. Hello. I like you to meet. Carlos, he's a accountant. Okay, nice. Let's listen to Flor and then William. Okay, Flor. Good evening, teacher. How do you meet Angel? He's a secretary. Okay, have you met? Have you met? Right. Okay, William and Annette. Good evening, Annette. teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I like to meet Gabriel. He is a teacher. Good one. Aneris and then Jocelyn. Good evening. Good evening. I like you to meet Lea. She is a teacher. Okay, nice. Pero necesito que digan met. Met. Okay, Pero dije, por... I'd like you ah, to ah, meet. Ah, okay. I like you to meet. Ah, entonces está bien. I like you to meet. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lea. She's a teacher. Nice. Jocelyn. Good evening. 
Sibylle. Um, have you met uh, Michelle? She is a floor manager. Good one. Thank you. Entonces, uh, thank you very much. Gracias a todos. Si se dan cuenta, ustedes pueden, digamos, este, van a presentar, you're going to, to, to introduce someone. Ustedes de un solo pueden decir, mm, he is Charles and he is Michelle. Uh, she is Michelle y así. Pero sería demasiado rústico. ¿sí? No es como que ustedes dijesen, I'd like you to meet. Me gustaría que conocieran. Quiero que conozcan. De casualidad conociesen a Carly y así, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, son diferentes maneras para presentar a alguien que creo que I consider that they can be applied for different contexts. Para diferentes contextos. No solo en el trabajo, para la familia, cualquier cosa. Bien, aquí tenemos otros ejemplos. Eh, cuando want significa querer. Ahora, si digamos la oración solo dice I want you, significa te quiero. <ríe> o sea, cuando ustedes le dicen así a una persona que, que ustedes tienen eh, ¿qué? cariño. Pero cuando ustedes dicen I want you to, significa quiero que. Pero I want you to significa como que, por ejemplo, I want you to cook omelets. Quiero que cocines omelets. No le están diciendo te quiero, cocina omelets. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso acá cuando escribo, I want you to marry me, ¿verdad? Quiero que te cases conmigo. Así, eso significa quiero que te cases conmigo. Entonces, I want you to significa quiero que. Pero si solo está I want you, es como el I love you, ¿ok? Igual, en la siguiente opción, I like you, ¿verdad? I, I like you to me gustaría que hagas el reporte. I'd like you to play, sing a song. Me gustaría que cantaras una canción. I'd like you to play soccer. Me gustaría que jugaras fútbol. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, ese I'd like you to me gustaría que. Y para abonar con otro vocabulario tenemos acá. Whatever significa lo que sea. Creo que esto ya se lo había explicado. Whatever es lo que sea. Wherever es donde sea. Whoever es quien sea. Y la palabra instead of es en lugar de. Esta sí es la realidad. Ahora, eh, hago mención de estas palabras porque yo he escuchado que la gente dice, mm, ¿qué quieres comer? ¿Pizza o, o hamburguesa? Y la gente dice, ah, wherever. Dice. La gente dice wherever. Y no es wherever, es whatever. Porque whatever es lo que sea. Ahora es diferente. Mm, ¿Quieres ir a los planes o quieres ir a Kentucky? Ah, wherever. Ahí sí pueden aplicar wherever, mm, donde sea. Pero si ustedes quieren decir cualquier cosa, es whatever. So, so, okay. so here we have this new vocabulary. Tenemos este vocabulario nuevo. Okay. Continuamos. Let me see. Tenemos otras. Ways to say nice to meet you. Formas para decir gusto en conocer. Normalmente, cuando dicen nice to meet you, decimos nice to meet you too. Esa es la más común y es la que nos enseña. Esta parte de nice to meet you too es bien común. Porque solo se le agrega en la otra frase to. Y es práctico. And yes, you can do it. Pero también tenemos estas otras opciones donde dice very nice to meet you. O it's a pleasure to meet you. Esa me gusta bastante. Lo utilizo de vez en cuando. It's a pleasure, pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. O pleased to meet you. Aquí suena como una T. Pleased. Pleased to meet you. Okay. So different forms to say uh, gusto en conocer. Okay, so that's it. So for you to have some of them, if you want to write them, all of them, or it's, it's okay. Si le quieren escribir todas, pero yo sugiero que de todas estas frases que ustedes escriben, subrayen o ponen un asterisco a la que más les gusta y traten de aplicarlas. Okay, ese es el punto, porque de nada sirve solo estar anotando todo y porque es bien complicado usarlas todas, pero si sí, eligen una, dos, y en la próxima vez cuando ustedes tengan una conversación, ya no digan nice to meet you too. Solo, mm, very nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. 
es eh, aplicar lo mismo cuando yo les digo, en lugar de decir fine, de how are you, en lugar de decir fine, pueden decir terrific, awesome, pueden decir yes, eh, so, so, y así sucesivamente. Okay. Y tenemos las siguientes. Bueno, vamos a escuchar cuáles les parece más o menos interesante. Carly, and then Mario. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice. What about Mario? And then Marvin. Bueno, Mario, si no está activo. Eh, Marvin. Hi. And... hi. Uh, I like uh, very nice to meet you. Okay. Very nice. Good. Uh, Marvin and Aneris. Very nice to meet you. Okay, good. Aneris and Catherine. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, very nice. Yes. Catherine, what about you? Very nice to meet you. Oh, what about Francisco? It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, here we have also, we have Lea. Okay, Lea, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, tenemos acá, ¿es alguna de esas que te llame la atención? It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, that's it. Y podemos empezarlas a usar, ¿verdad? para no sonar tan robóticos o tan, ¿cómo se les llama? Tan predecibles, para no sonar tan predecibles en inglés, ¿ok? So, well, here we have some others. Tenemos a mí eh, las últimas frases que tenemos acá. Y tenemos ways to finish a conversation. Es tanto importante. Cuando ustedes van a ter, cortar una conversación, no se lo van a decir, ok, bye. No, eh, como que, bye, pues, salud. Eh, no, you can uh, sound uh, like... Politely. Pueden sonar de manera más amable, más diplomática, si utilizan cualquiera de esas frases. Por ejemplo, I should get going. Creo que ya debería irme. O oh, I'd better get back to work. I'd better get back to house. ¿Verdad? Mm, mejor regreso a, a trabajo. Okay, imagínense. Imagine you are in a break. Eh, like, for example, 2.30 or 3 o'clock. And you're having some snacks. Y están tomando unos bocadillos. Están comiendo unos bocadillos. Y están hablando con su compañero, preparando el café. And after a short conversation, you can say, oh, okay, I better get back to work. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Y ahí sí le pueden decir adiós. Nos vemos. Or the other, this is like very polite. Es bien amable. It was, it was nice talking to you. Fue muy, fue muy bonito. Fue muy agradable hablar. O hablar con It was nice talking to you. Okay, I'm going to repeat one by one. I should get going. Okay, aquí decimos should, no show. Se dice should. I should get going. Luego aquí, I'd better, I'd better get back to work. It was nice talking, talking to you. It was nice talking to you. Okay, now you tell me, One of these phrases, which you consider like very, like interesting. Okay. Me la van a decir cualquiera de ustedes. Okay. Y de un solo me dicen, hi, hello, good evening, present. Okay, como estamos con, uh, let's see. Who is here? ¿Quién está acá? Okay, Elizabeth. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Oh. Okay, select one uh, of these phrases. I should get going. Oh, nice. Thank you. Okay, and Adela, are you there? No sé si Adela está por acá. Well, si no está Denis, Federico, I'm sorry, just they are here. Flor, good evening, Flor. Good evening, teacher. Oh. It, it's what nice. Talking to you. Yes, that's that's perfect. Thank you. What about you, Francisco? I should get going. Okay, I should get going. Yes, that's perfect. What about Anaris? Hi, I better get back to to work mm -hmm. or to house or. I better get back to work. O a veces si están en una fiesta y han salido, pueden decir, mm, I'd better get back to the party. Mejor regreso a la fiesta. Ajá. 
it's like to 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 make a pause para hacer una pausa y regresar. Okay, thank you. Um, sí. Helen viene de camino, me comenta. Um, Ogla, me parece. Sí, sí. Me avisa cuando ya estés eh, en casa, ¿ok? No problem. Okay. Eh, Ogla, me parece que no está conectada. Ok, what about Jimmy? Hello. Hello, my friend. Ok, select one. Uh, number three. Uh, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, perfect. Very nice. Uh, Carly. Ivania viene. I'd better get back to house. Nice. Um, Catherine? I should get going. Okay. Uh, Lea, just a for a card. I should get going. Good. Okay, David, tenemos acá David. Creo que todavía no se ha conectado. Okay. Mario, your turn. Hi. Okay, parece que no está activo. Uh, Marvin, your Hi. turn. I was nice talking to you. Perdón, estaba, estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Ah, uh, okay, Mario. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh -huh. It was nice talking to you. Okay, yes, talking to you. Thank you. Uh, let's listen now to, well, Miguel. Parece que no se conectado. William. I surely get, up, get, up, get going. Okay, thank you. And Jocelyn. I better get back to work. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice pronunciation. Okay, good. And now, let's see. Okay, before we continue, here we have this uh, first speaking activity. Would you like to be famous? Why? What did I say? Yes, because I would like to travel. Or another option could be no, because I don't like to be famous. Y así sucesivamente. Okay? Va a depender de lo que ustedes, pues, eh, can. Depends on your opinions. Okay? So, what if we start with Lea? Lea, are you ready with your opinion? No, because I don't like to be famous. Okay, no, because I don't like to be famous. Okay, that's nice. What about Carly and then Catherine? Uh, El micrófono, Carly, creo que se te apagó. Perdón. I do not like to be famous because I think that famous people had private life. I could not, I could not have love relationships, but uh, everyone knows. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's a big problem with famous people. They don't have privacy. They don't have private life, and that's really uncomfortable. That's that's not good. Okay. Así que va para tener sus novios. Dice que quiere estar a escondida. Okay. Good for you. Te felicito. Catherine and then William. Um, no, because I don't like very, I don't like to be famous. It's very complicated. Mm -hmm. It's complicated to be famous. Imagine you go to yeah, Paul McCartney said when he was very famous at the beginning with the Beatles, cuando, era bien, cuando comenzaba la fama con, con the Beatles, uh, he said that he couldn't go to the shop to, to buy some cigarettes. Comprar cigarros en, en, en la tienda era bien difícil because the fans were behind him. Estaban como detrás de él. So it was really uh, strange. Uh, yes, Jocelyn. Hi. Jocelyn. Sorry, teacher. Se me le, le coloqué mal el dedito. Se me levanta la manita. <laughs> OK. Entonces, bueno. <laughs> bueno, de un solo aprovechando acá. Ya que venís por aquí, gusto en ver. OK, OK. Um, no, because I will not like them to investigate my person, personal life and expose is trying so, social network. Yes, 
you can be exposed. Aquí está esa palabra. Okay, exposed. Yes, no es exposado. Es expuesto. Yes, your life, your personal life can be exposed in social media. In Facebook, más ahora, con tantas cosas. A lot of accidents, a lot of different things. Considero que también eh, se rompe con el tema de privacidad. Yes, sometimes I guess it is necessary. A veces podría ser necesario por el tema de seguridad. But there are some other cases in which, in which you can be seen like a bad person. Puedes verte como una mala persona cuando solo te presentan una parte de la historia, right? Okay, Jocelyn, nadie quiere ser famoso. Okay. What about Marvin and then Mario? Okay, Marvin. Okay. Uh, no, it would not like to be famous. Why? Because they have no private life. And their heart at the order of the reflector. Yes, under the reflectors. And there are uh, paparazzi is that they are taking photographs. Well, in the past time there was paparazzi, now there are fans, right? Si se dan cuenta ese trabajo de paparazzi ya como que ha bajado, because the fans are always with the cell phones ready to take pictures, videos. Okay, so that's that, that's really true. Okay, uh, Mario, what about you? Hey, hi, uh, I would like to be famous because that why people know me in any place. Hmm, yeah. uh, I currently have 8,000 followers on TikTok. Really? Uh, yes. Wow, Mario, so you're really famous. I am, I am TikToker. <laughs> really? We didn't know? Okay. And what's the name of your account? ¿Cómo te encuentras? Uh, ¿Cómo está en tu cuenta? Mario HZ. Wow. Okay. HZ Hernandez. Okay. We're going to look for you. Te vamos a buscar ahí. Vamos a ver qué tal. Nice. <laughs> nice for saying it, Mario. Go for you. Pues si más dinero para Mario. She's famous. Okay. Here we have. We continue with how to use prepositions of place. Como usar las preposiciones de lugar. Um, remember that we were studying some other prepositions of place. Let me see. Well, estas son las que vamos a estar utilizando por el momento. Um, we have, se recuerdan que estábamos utilizando la de next to, uh, behind, between, on, in, ¿verdad? Entonces, estas son similares, solo que esas preposiciones van más enfocadas en lugares, en locaciones, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos acá, por ejemplo, here we have among, que es como decir between. Among significa entre, ¿verdad? Pero no entre de entrar a la casa, sino que entre de, de objetos, ¿ok? Among. In front of, ustedes ya conocen que es in front of, no es necesario que yo se les explique. Near, near es similar, es sinónimo de close. Close significa cerrar, pero también significa cerca. El close up es un acercamiento que se hace con una cama. Close up. Y así se llama una pasta de dientes. Que ya no, si sí existe. Pero close up significaba acercarse, acercamiento. So, cerca. Pero sabía que lavarse los dientes para acercarse. So, uh, close, it's a synonym of near. Que significa cerca. De hecho, hay una canción romántica que se llama Close to You. Que seguramente ya la han escuchado. Quizá ahorita no se recuerdan, pero Close to You es una canción súper genial. Ah, es buena para, para que la listen en esa canción. Ok, and here we have past. Tenemos esta otra palabra que es past como pasando. O sea, where is the church? ¿Dónde está la iglesia? It's located past the school. Está ubicada pasando la escuela. Ok. So here we have, what is the park located? What is the park located? Pueden decir located, pero lo más común es located. Okay? It is located among many places. Está localizado entre muchos lugares. Luego tenemos, what is the sport palace located? ¿Dónde está el Palacio de Deportes ubicado o localizado? 
It's located on various streets in front of the park. It's located on various streets in front of the park. What is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school. It's located past the school. Bien, vamos a hacer una actividad en este momento. Vamos a hacer una pregunta, por ejemplo, where is Vamos a hacer una pregunta y nos vamos a contestar. Where is eh, Gerardo Barrios Park located? Y le podemos poner, it's located in front of the cathedral. Okay. It's located in front of the cathedral or in front of the cathedral. Entonces vamos a hacer esto. ¿Dónde está ubicado qué? la biblioteca del Parque Morazán? You can say uh, zoológico, bueno, ya no, ya no está zoológico, pero you can use different places. Uh, where is located Balboa Park? Where is located uh, Olocuilta Pocusodromo or whatever, wherever you want to say. Cualquier lugar famoso, vamos a ubicarlo enfrente de, a la par. Si no, si no se si quieren complicar, pueden utilizar esta palabra. Near, near, que significa a la par, cerca. Ok, o pasando, pasando tal lugar. Ok, so eh, let's prepare a question in a location. Vamos a preparar una pregunta y la ubicación utilizando cualquiera de esas prepositions of place. Les doy un par de segundos. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, perfect. William está con todos los poderes. Ya quiere terminar el curso, dice. Ya quiere estar de vacaciones. Very nice. Yes, todos queremos estar relaxed ya. Yeah. Okay, William. Let's do it, my friend. Okay. Where is Cuscatlan Park located? It's located in front of the Rosales Hospital. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Good one. Let's listen to Francisco. Are you ready? Yeah, not ready. Okay, in a moment. What about what about if we listen to Marvin and then Carly? Okay. What is the casino located and rendering plants? Ok, la, la última parte, ¿cuál fue? It's... Planes. Uh, render, in rendering planes. Ok. Uh, good. Let's Planes listen. Ok, ok. Aunque los nombres así propios no se cambian. Igual que la puerta del diablo. ¿eh? Puerta del diablo. Planes de render. No problem. But very nice, uh, Marvin. Let's listen to Mario, uh, Carly and then Mario. Are you ready, Carly? Ok. And where is where is the Mágico González Estadium? Located. 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 Yes. It's uh, it's located in front of the restaurant La Casona. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Uh, Mario and Catherine. Okay, where is located? Uh, where is the San Salvador, Alcaldía San Salvador located? Mm -hmm. uh, is located in Alameda Juan Pablo II. Bien, en este caso sería on. On. Uh -huh. okay. Sobre, uh, sobre la Alameda. Okay, thank you. Catherine and Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. Where is 
multiplaza located? It's located past military school. Okay, past military school. Nice, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn, and then we go with Lea. Where is supermar supermarket located? It is located in front of the shore. Okay, thank you. Lea and then Jimmy. Where is Hotel Intercontinental Locatero? Located. 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 It is located in front of Metro Centro. Okay, in front of Metro Centro Mall. Mall. Ah, que es Centro Comercial. Nice. Jimmy, and then we go with Flor. Espérame que Lea me acaba de robar la pregunta. No, es que Lea está inventando palabras. Como ah, quien. también. ¿Quién me dijo? Flor fue otra que me inventó la vez pasada. Puede repetir otra vez la palabra. Ok. ¿Cómo se menciona? Located. Located. Ok, Lea. Nice. Bueno, mientras se prepara Jimmy, vamos con Aneris and then David. Where is Fiscalía de la República located? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's located in front of the building Amante. Okay, nice. Yo pensé que es la Procuraduría iba a decir. Okay, nice. <laughs> Se ha dado el dato. Okay, perfect. What about um, Flor? And I David. Uh, where is Antiguo Cuscatlán Park located? located? It's located in front of the church. Okay, in front of the church. Nice. David, what about you? Okay. Uh, where is the police station located? It's located near the park. Okay, easily. Okay, and Jimmy, what about you, Jimmy, and then Francisco? Okay, where is the place national located? It is located near uh, near uh, Cathedral Central. Okay, nice. Thank you. And we go with Francisco. Mm -hmm. Uh, where is the part uh, central of Sonsona is located in front of Cathedral. Okay, in front of Cathedral. Thank you. Uh, here we have this. Thank you. If you notice, we have this map of the city. Tenemos el mapa de esa ciudad. So in this case, you can uh, see the bank. Yes, Elizabeth. Alto yo. Tu falta, Elizabeth. Ok, yeah, go ahead. Sí. Sorry. Yes, no me please. preguntaron. No, es, es que como la mayoría no tiene la foto de perfil, entonces se me hace difícil recordar quién pasó y quién no. Ok. Ah, eh, ah, no, pues, me refiero tengo. a la cámara. <risas> cámara, sí, me, se me... Se me ah, ok. Ok, Elizabeth, okay. go. Your question. Where is Rafael Campos Park located? Ok. It is located in front of San Sanate City Hall. Very nice. In front of Sonsonate City Hall, que es la alcaldía, right? Very, very detailed. Thank you. Well done. Entonces, acá, um, ya que lo dijo Elizabeth, eh, City Hall significa alcaldía o municipalidad. City Hall. Okay? Hall como los, los, los dulces halls, solo que sin ese. Hall. Es City Hall. Here we have, uh, in this city, we have bank, mall, que es el centro comercial, mall, cualquier centro comercial, restaurant, arrows company, que es una compañía, okay, sport palace, school, church, uh, book world, and here we have also second avenue, first avenue, Barrios street, and Roosevelt street, okay? So here we have these ones, and now that we have this picture, we have to complete this 
uh, sentences. Here we have four sentences. And this exercise is about completing the conversations using a preposition from the box. Vamos a utilizar una de las preposiciones que podemos ver acá, esa, esa parte. Okay. And we're going to complete them. Vamos a, a completar. Okay. So y remember that I'm going to show you this picture. Okay. So you can have a better idea how to complete these sentences. Any volunteer? Un voluntario para completar estas oraciones. Y pues, eh, como les comentaba, siempre vamos a, eh, vamos a dar una para no perder. Okay. So for this, maybe we can start with Jocelyn. Si está por ahí, Jocelyn. Yes, teacher. Eh, what number? Eh, number one. Okay. The sport uh, palace. The sport palace. Ajá, is... tenemos bank. Sport palace uh -huh. and the bank. Ajá. The bank. Yes. Sería in front of. No lo logro ver. Ok. The sport palace tenemos acá. Tenemos el banco. Ok. In front. Esa es tu opción, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Yes. Four palaces in front of the bank. Thank you. William, are you ready with your sentence? Yes, teacher, pero tengo una pregunta primero. Yeah. Este, ¿cree que un libro de fonemas del inglés cree que puede ayudarnos mucho? Sí, ayuda. Ayuda bastante por... Um, no es que te vas a centrar totalmente en, en, en los fonemas, así como tal porque ya sería fonología, es una rama, ¿verdad?, del idioma, uh -huh. pero te va a ayudar mucho a cómo entender las pronunciaciones cuando vos buscas, ¿qué?, por ejemplo, en, en internet, en algún diccionario en línea, o los diccionarios en físico, ahí aparecen unas letras algo raras, si te das cuenta, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ajá. sí. entonces sí. para eso te sirve, para que vos ubiques algunos sonidos, ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, 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 porque es. está, estaba viendo que la letra P es una, en el inglés, como que es la vidental, las cositas así. Sí, es, que, el, ajá. El... es como te explica, les explica la vez pasada que este, ajá, no es of, sino que of, ¿verdad? Y la palabra, ajá. por sí, ejemplo, sí. la palabra no se dice love, sino que se dice love. Entonces es como una O y una A, como que love. Ajá, Pero no, no, no se dice el... love como A, sino que es como intermedio, como love. Entonces, ajá, como por ejemplo, eso... como por ejemplo, cold, se dice good. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, sí. Cabal, Vaya, uh -huh. y este sentence number two. Ok, very nice, William, sentence number the city hall, y luego tenemos the church and the book. Ok, the city hall, the church and the book. Ok, so here we have the city hall. Entonces okay. ahí te, men te menciona esta y te menciona esto y te menciona esto. What do you think? Sí. Ok, teacher. The city hall. The city hall is between the church and book world. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. Between. Pero como, ajá, aquí tenemos between. Very nice. Very nice, William. Thank you. Ok, here we have number three and four. Any other volunteers? Other voluntarios? Number three and four. Ah, Neris. Okay, what do you select? Which one? Number four. Okay, the church and the city. The church and the city hall are in front of the park. Yes, in front of the park. Yeah, it's a good one. And Francisco, what about you? Number three. Number three, the restaurant is. Aha, uh -huh. First Avenue. Uh, Rus, uh, in front of okay. Roosevelt Street. Mm, yes, tenemos dos opciones. Podemos decir in front of y también podemos decir past. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. no, past. past per, sí, como pasando, pasando la primera. Pero también puedo decir in front of, okay? So very nice, okay. Francisco. Very good. So uh, we're going to continue with this. Vamos a continuar con estas otras preguntas. 
Would you like to be famous? Why? Yes or no? So in this case, we're going to listen to some other, for example, um, Flor. Are you ready, Flor, with your answer? Ready, teacher. Okay. Uh, no, because I don't like uh, to be famous for what I like to have a quiet life. Okay, a quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to have a quiet life. Quiet. And that's and that's totally good. Tener una vida calmada es como genial, right? You have peace. En paz. Paz en paz. That's it. Very important. Good. And what about Anelis? And then we go with Jimmy. No, because celebrity have no privacy. Yes, celebrities have no privacy. Yes, well. They have no privacy at all, como estábamos hablando. For example, if you imagine you want you want to go out without what? Without makeup. Te quieres, quieres salir sin, sin maquillaje. Como quieras salir or whatever. Uh, people are going to be taking photographs and videos. Say, Mira como se ve ahora, descuidado. And whatever. Okay. Imagine if you are waiting for a baby. Estás esperando por un bebé. You're going to be like trend. <laughs> Va a ser tendencia and a lot of things. And what about if we listen to Jimmy and then William? Okay. Uh, I don't like to be famous. No, because uh, for privacy, social, um, difficult relationship shit on the people and the person uh, and eh, lo contrario como sería on on the contrary on the contrary a uh, disney uh, for example on tiktoker for okay. money and the lie video okay uh -huh. um Yes, and those are very good examples. Como dice, on the contrary, o podemos decir the opposite, ¿verdad? Lo opuesto, lo contrario. Mm -hmm. okay. And for example, as, as Mario says, Mario says he yeah. would like to. Yeah. Mario dice que le gustaría, because he's like a, an influencer, he has followers, and he wants more followers. So that's another thing, and that's really good. But for us, the... The mortals, for nosotros los mortales, it is like very different, but uh, okay, depends on everybody. Okay, well, and now, what if we we'll listen now to um, William and okay. then Francisco? Not because la not because life is boring in many English, not even being famous could change that. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. Maybe you have an, a different objectives and uh, that's why. Good one. Okay, uh, let's listen now to David and then we go with Francisco. Okay, David. And then Elisa. Um. Hey, would you like to be famous? Yes, I would like to be famous, but for a short period of time mm -hmm. to earn and save money and then travel around the world. Okay, that's good. For a short period of time, not for a lifetime. Nice, thank you. What about Francisco and then Elizabeth? Ready, Francisco? Yeah, ready. Okay, please. Um, no, one moment. La, la pregunta. Uh, would you like to be famous? Okay. Yeah. One moment, one moment. No, because I don't like, uh, because privacy is a lot in life. Social and um, intimate. 
That's it. It's privacy. That's bastante important. Yeah, thank you. And we finish with Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth. What's your opinion about this? No. Hmm? Oh. Because I don't like to be famous. They are constantly involved in problems. Yes, constantly in problems. And that's really disgusting. There's siempre problemas. La fama también trae un poco de problemas. Okay, Jimmy, tell us about it. Uh, in my opinion is different idiot of the, the person influencer of FAMU, um, difficult uh, presentation on the people, um, positive impact on the lives of other, other people. Sure. Yes. Uh, for example, imagine you are an athlete, there is an athlete, so you can motivate kids, you can have a positive influence, yes. painter or whatever, you have the power to make positive things, right? So that's really good. But if you can do it for a short period of time, okay, why not? In the cause of El Salvador is different, uh, content, the video is uh, uh, payasada o ayucada, como se dice? Yes. <laughs> Bullying or, or funny, funny things. Uh, I guess here in El Salvador, we are development of maturity in social networks. Yeah. So I guess a lot of adults comment and they are debating on Facebook. I guess that's part of the, well, we need more maturity. Well, we're going to have a speaking activity. We're going to have a speaking activity. In this case, we have We have employees information. We have information from the office. Name Mauricio Quintanilla. Office or main phone is at 7203-9164. Here we have. Workplace, Arrows Technology Company. Address on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. For eight hundred three Santa Cecilia Center. Here we have job position, software design, department, production, and ID. El ID es como el documento de identificación. Okay? Si, si tiene pal, si tiene carnet, todo eso, pueden darlo. Y si no, pues el DIN. Okay, or whatever you can invent. Normally, the ID has uh, the letters of your name or your last name and some other numbers, for example, okay. So we're going to have this, uh, this activity, but here we have this card. Okay. If you want to have, take a screenshot. Okay, all right. We're going to ask to partner to preguntar al compañero. Okay, and then analyzing. Camera, let's start with cara de speaker. Okay. Going to do is, vamos a. Office. Place, uh, uh, the opposition part. Este department no es el departamento donde vive, ¿verdad? sino que se refiere al departamento empresarial. Okay, productions, human resources, uh, sales, marketing, la dirección, address, ID. Se le puede preguntar, what's your name? Uh, what's the office main? What's the work name? Okay. What's your address? What's your ID? Okay. So, 
Ok, Andrés, ¿cree que me puedes colaborar? Pero es. There are some other. Ya, Andrés, ya me dio el. But here we have this part. It's a sliding. Ok, sí. Pregunta, eh, teacher. Ahí sí, sí. Dime. Yes. En el caso del nombre, eh, aclarando la indicación, eh, ¿se va a decir deletreado o de un solo? No, de un solo, ¿verdad? Okay. El nombre y apellido, ¿verdad? Si te toca con Elizabeth, ¿verdad? Carly, ahí va a decir. ¿Ok? So, no problem. Este, y anotan los datos que después vamos a hacer el report. Está para mientras vamos a, los voy a empezar a, a ordenar. Mientras practiquen la información que ustedes van a dar. Hello. Hola, hola. Ahorita. Ya le va a llegar la invitación. Ok, teacher.
Hola, teacher. Eh, estaba con Marvin, creo que se llama, pero como que la señal nos está fallando a los dos porque me volvió a conectar y ya aparece aquí. Ok, te la volví a enviar, aceptarla. Ah, ok, ¿Sí? gracias. Ok.
Okay, uh, let's start the report. Vamos a comenzar el report. Vamos a ver si Aneris no colabora inicialmente. Uh, tell us uh, at least two, two types of information. Dos tipos de información. Okay, de la persona con la que estoy. name, name, Elizabeth Hernández. Eh, se me olvidó. Elizabeth yeah. Hernández, May Phone, no, Workplace, Sonsonate City Hall. Ok, very nice. No notaste nada, Vaneris. ¿Qué? ¿Cómo no? Tengo la evidencia aquí. Ajá, cabrón. Digamos que sí. Ok, let's listen to Mario and then Elizabeth. Ok, Mario, tell us your information. Teacher, a mí se me desconectó el teléfono. Oh, okay. Lo siento. Ok, creo que es por ayuda. Uh, what about Elizabeth? And then we go with Lea. Okay. Este, name, Aneris, Elias. Okay. Uh, workplace, sistemas eficientes. Okay, very nice. What about Lea and Marvin? Name, uh, Ivania Anaya. Workplace, ser profe, yo posi posición, asistente, technician, okay. department, production. Thank you, very nice. What about Marvin and Francisco? Eh. Yes, dos tipos de okay. información. Tú decides. Ah, solo tú. Yes, just two. Okay, uh, William. Uh, well, the workplace e parking. Okay. The address Padre Aguilar Street and Mejia Lara Avenue Escalón. Okay. Thank you. Very nice. Francisco and Carly. The name Josephine Castaneda. Workplace the profile. Your position, a technician, support, assistant. Okay. Very nice. Carly, and then we go with um, Ivania. Okay. Uh, office phone 2284, and 68. And your position, secretary. Nice. Okay, let's listen to Ivania and then we go with um, William. Okay, name Lea de Rivo, workplace as a as a Rispado de San Salvador, and okay. job position Tenisha. Good, thank you. William, and then let's listen to Jocelyn. Okay, Marvin, job position. Silas person and supervisor. Good. Jocelyn, and then we go with Flor. Okay. Francisco, name Francisco. Uh, workplace, City Hall, Sonsonate. Job position, maintenance. Uh, CCDB. Okay, nice. Flor, and then we have Catherine. Okay, name Jimmy Orellano, workplace in Magic Chain, Joe Petition, Logistic Assistant. Okay, thank you. Catherine, and then we go with uh, David. Um, name Carla Mendoza, workplace school, eco school, Joe Petition, t shirt. Okay, very nice. Okay. Let's go with David. Did you have, did you get some information? Then we go with Francisco. Okay, let's go with Francisco and then Jimmy. Repeat. Eh, no, ya pasaste Francisco, ya me dijiste dos tipos de información, con quién estuviste. Sí, sí, yes. Okay, Jimmy, what about you? Okay. Hmm? Names uh, Flor de Maria. Workplace. 
the city all all Antiguo Bucatlan in your position, secretary. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Okay, my friends, let's continue again with this map. Tenemos este mapa y tenemos eh, también algunas de estas eh, pues oraciones. And we're going to read the employee's information and circle which uh, of this alternative uh, belongs to the it's correct. Vamos a ver cuál de estas es correcta. Aquí tenemos esta. Okay. On Roosevelt Street, the first avenue. Uh, 100, uh, I'm sorry, 853, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Okay, so here we have this. Él trabaja, he works in Arrow Technology Company. Ahí trabaja. Uh, let's see. Arrow Technology Company. Here we have. Okay. Is this. Entonces, de estas oraciones, de, vamos a elegir cuál es la correcta. Okay, Arrow's. Technology company. Vamos a leer una por una. Francisco, can you read number one, please? Number one. Yeah. It is located in front of mall on First Avenue. Okay, in front of the mall and First Avenue. In front of the mall and First Avenue. Tenemos. Park. Mm -mm. Al parecer no es allí. Okay. No. no, right? Okay, let's continue with uh, Lea. What about if you read number two? Number two. It's local, local, local. Así, 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 mira. Ya local. te digo. Ando directo. Located. 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 It is located across First Avenue, Avenue behind the restaurant. Behind, mm -hmm. behind, behind the restaurant. The restaurant. Okay, across the First Avenue behind the restaurant. Okay. Across, okay. First mm -hmm. Avenue behind the restaurant. Mm, not mm -hmm. necessary. Necessariamente, right? Okay, let's listen to Marvin. Number three, please. It, it is located. Ready. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the world. World. Okay. On Roosevelt Street, on Roosevelt Street, between the restaurants and the book world. Creo que esta es, ¿verdad? Arrows Company, that's, and here we have the correct uh, location. Tenemos la ubicación correcta, que es number three. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book. Okay. Now let's listen to this. Here we have who had the most influence in your life. Quien tuvo la mayor influencia en tu vida o quien ha tenido el mayor impacto en tu vida. So here we have some examples. For example, my mother, because my grandfather because, and that depends how uh, we were raised. Depende de cómo fuimos criados, right? So, tenemos algunos uh, partes del vocabulario que nos puede ayudar. Admire, que es admirar. Guide, que es guiar. And despite, a pesar de. A pesar de, okay? So, let's listen to some of you. To say, okay, to give uh, your experiences. What about if we start with Mario? Are you ready to start with this uh, question? Yes. Okay, please. One moment. Um, uh, my teacher of the database sub subject at the university, because he motivated me to learn, learn to develop systems. Oh, wow. Very interesting. So that's why maybe you were motivated and now you thought, hmm, I like this area. I can I can learn yes. and I can work in this area. Okay, be nice. Thank you. Very good, Mario. 
And what about if you listen to Leah? My grandfather. Okay, what he, about your grandfather? He's an uh, example of strain and resistance. Oh, good. He was a reality, a survivor of the Holocaust. Wow. He was, he, I guess he has a lot of stories, a lot of anecdotes. Creo que tiene bastante anecdotes para contar, right? Well, a survivor. Yeah, not easy, nada fácil. No. Not, well, I consider, I personal uh, consider that we can learn about those kind of people. Creo que podemos aprender mucho de gente que ha pasado por diferentes casos. And we have to take advantage of that. Tenemos que aprovechar ese conocimiento. To, to, my to grandfather, uh, in numbers, in los numeros. Los ah, numeros like, like in tattoo, como tatuado, acá, ¿verdad? Con uh -huh. número de serie. Yes. Así, acá y acá. Wow, yes. Well, mm -hmm. very hard. Mente difícil. Okay, wow. So, thank you, Lea, for, for, for sharing. Gracias por compartir. Wow, so that's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, realmente increíble. Eh? Well, now let's move to Flor. What about you, Flor? Hi, teacher. Oh. Uh, my mother educate, educate me and Taub, Taubert. Me that I should always fight for what I wanted in my life. Nice, yes. And it is good. Uh, remember when we are kids, when somos niños, we need like uh, motivation, we need heroes or heroines, perdón, necesitamos héroes o heroínas for us to, 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 to have objectives in life. So that's really good. Thank you, Flor. What about Elizabeth now? And then we'll go with Aneris. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm, My right. mother, <laughs> we go. She can always help me everything despite the circumstance of the life. Hmm. Nice. Yes, I guess that's really important. Okay, now let's listen to Aneris and then we'll go with Francisco. Uh, uh, my mother, okay. because even though she raised four children without anyone's help and was psychically, verbally, and psychologically abused by my father, she never gave up and fought to get pushed ahead. Okay, psychological. Okay, psychological. I guess she's a fighter. Creo que es una luchadora. <laughs> because yes. the, yeah, despite, verdad, a pesar, despite uh, all the circumstances and the negative aspects, she was not, uh, she didn't transmit all the negative things. No transmitió, to, no les transmitió todas esas cosas. No. Okay, so wow, that, that, she's really, really like, Fighter, a luchador, okay. Thank you for, for sharing, Aneris and Francisco. Okay. Um, my mother, because she always showed me that you school never give up in the face on any difficulty. Okay, very nice. Never give up. Nunca darse por vencido. Yes, I guess that, that that's so important. Yes. Pero que a veces eso pues, quiera ser, no, 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 nos hace dudar, right? Cuando la gente no por vencido. Okay. We're going to have um, a listening activity. Vamos a tener una actividad de listening que teníamos días de que no lo teníamos. 
So in this case, we're going to have uh, four people. Vamos a tener cuatro personas. Y estas cuatro personas, they're going to say, uh, well, they're going to say the name. They're going to say phone number, the workplace, the address, job position, department, and ID. Okay? So we're going to have this. Vamos a tener esto y pues eh, vamos a, a, si gustan pueden copiar por lo menos esto, right? So just for you to have this name, phone, workplace, address, job position, department, ID. No es necesario que hagan el cuadro. Solo que lo escriban. And then you can write the information. Okay. Just give me seconds and then for the second para Bien, vamos a hacer una pequeña prueba acá. Me dices, eh, Carly, si se escucha el audio. Vamos a ver ahorita. Permita. My name is Gabriela. Yes, I can. Ok, perfect. Vamos a escucharlo dos veces. We start. Comenzamos. Number one. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256-9789. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT06. Zero three and one. Okay, let's listen one more time. Vamos a escuchar una vez más. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is twenty two fifty six ninety seven eighty nine. I work in a city hall on Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources and my ID is GT0603 and one. Okay, nice. Let's uh, listen to, just give me a second. Okay, let's listen to number two. Vamos a escuchar el número dos. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on various street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. 
My ID is DM14408. My name is Marcela. Okay, let's listen one more time, no más. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Barrio Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Okay. Now let's listen number three. Vamos a escuchar ahora a number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 79632154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES968900. Okay, one more time, number three. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 79632154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES968900. Okay, and number four. Hi, my name is Dennis. ¿Puedes escuchar, Carly o Lea? ¿Sí? Yes. Gracias a ambas. Time. Yes. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Okay, the last time, number four. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Okay. I know that it is, was kind of complicated, it's un poquito complicadito because these people gave more information than before. Ellos dan, dan más, dieron más información que en los audios anteriores, but that's what this activities are for. ¿Verdad? Eso sí creo que está. It's okay. Volunteers for any of these four people, eh, it doesn't, you know, you don't have to, to get the complete information, but at least the help, at least tienen la, la mitad. Lea, okay, Lea, you're going to be the first one. Uh, what number? One, two, three, or four? Hello? Hmm? Uh, number one. Okay, number, number one. one. <laughs> number one. Uh -huh. uh, her name is Gabriela. Okay. And phone 2166 okay. Workplace and City Cool Avenue. Avenue. Adrian Rooster Street. John yes. Position Secretary. Department Parking Resource. Either I did one, four, eight, eight. Okay, very nice. Good. Solo que en una me, 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 me cambié un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero estuvo bien. Gabriela, phone number 22. Dijiste 21. Pero de ahí estamos bien. Si dijo 
Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Yeah, that's it. Secretary. Yes. Human Resources and IDSGT 06031. Well, but that's it. And remember, imagínense estos audios. I, en la primera semana me los hubiera asustado, right? But now you have like a, a better, better comprehension. Okay. What about number two, three, or four? Any other? Thank you, Leah. Do we have some other volunteers? Catherine, what number? Mm, three. Okay, let's go with number three. Um, name is Elisa. Yes. Phone number 79-63-21-54. Good. Workplace uh, bank. Okay. Andres is First Avenue. <laughs> okay, First Avenue, nice. Uh -huh. The position is a content. What? Department, finance department, and ID is IS and 96890. Yes, very nice. Solo una letrita. That fue la diferencia. The interest was really good, Catherine. Ya la voy a mostrar, okay? Very nice. Me hiciste bien. What about number two? Do we have volunteers for number two and number four? Uh, Carrie, number two or four? Number four. Okay, let's go with number four. Uh, uh, name, Dennis. Phone number uh, 78, 26, 61, 67. Yes. In workplace is a bookwork company. As address is Second Avenue, Ro Roosevelt Street. Yes. And job position salary person and department salary department. Good. And uh, ID no. No, no, no llegó, no, no llegó a tu corazón el ID. No problem, Carly. Ya lo vamos a revisar. Very nice. Very complete info. Okay. Do we have volunteers for number three? Es la que nos hace falta. Okay. Let's listen to some of you. Maybe Mario. David. Jocelyn. Flor. Do we have volunteers for number three? Me too, sir. Okay. Creo, creo, creo que algo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Es, eh, ok, eh, name, Elisa. Yes. Workplace Bank. Uh, address, The Bardo Street. Yes. Creo que no te resto. Eh, job Position, Main Accountant. Ah, no, no. Cashier, perdón. Okay. Cashier department, uh, customer service. Y en ID solo anoté 11, 28. Ok. Ya lo vamos a mostrar. Very nice. Aunque en accountant estaba bastante bien, fíjate. But that's, that's okay. Good. You have the information. Can you see? The first one is Gabriela, Marcela, Elisa, and Dennis. We're going to check. Vamos a comparar eh, inf la, la información. Ok. Para que. Veamos, pues, esto. Eh, si gustan, bueno, como al momento de compartir, eh, solo tengo una duda. En este caso, Lea, cuando estoy compartiendo audio, ¿siempre ven esta imagen o ven la imagen del audio de, de, de reproductor? La imagen del audio de reproductor. De reproductor, sí, o sea, ajá, la imagen sí. del reproductor de audio, ven, ¿verdad? Ok, nice. Let me see. Bien, vamos a hacer... Eh, Vamos a escuchar nuevamente. Just give me a second. My name is Gabriela. My phone number is 2256-97. 89. I work in a city hall on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a secretary. I work in human resources. 
and my ID is GT0603 and 1. Okay, let's go with number 2. My name is Marcela. My phone number is 62534132. I work at Sport Palace. Uh, the address is on Barrier Street in front of the park. I am a cashier. I work in the customer service department. My ID is DM14408. Hi, my name is Elisa. My phone number is 79632154. I work in a bank on various street and First Avenue. I am an accountant. I work in finance. My ID is ES968980. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is 78266167. I work in Book World Company. The address is on 2nd Avenue and Roosevelt Street. I am a salesperson. I work at sales department and my ID is MN51159. Hi, my name is Dennis. My phone number is Okay, here we have that and we're going to ya estamos por terminar, solo tenemos 19 minutos, right? So we're going to practice this, vamos a practicar esta conversación sobre el can, que es eh, un tema que estuvimos viendo el viernes, ¿verdad? Eh, después vamos a ver el could. Son conversaciones bastante cortas. So let's go with number uh, one and two. Tenemos una conversación entre Amy and Todd. Conversation number one. So, Todd, are you good at sports? I'm pretty good at sports. I can play basketball and baseball, and I can run pretty fast, but I can't jump that height. Can you play soccer? No, I can't play soccer well because I am good at kicking. I'm not good at kicking the ball. Entonces le pregunta, ¿eres bueno en los deportes? Soy muy bueno. Fíjense que aquí es, es bien curioso. Pretty significa bonita, como un adjetivo. Pero también es, es similar a, a un quantifier, como para decir very, como very much. Cuando decimos mucho, muchísimo. Entonces, very, pretty, aquí se significa muy, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I'm pretty good. Soy muy bueno en los deportes. Puedo jugar basketball, baseball, y puedo correr muy rápido. Pretty fast, muy rápido. But I can't jump that high. Pero no puedo saltar tan alto. Can you play soccer? ¿Puedo jugar fútbol? No, no puedo jugar fútbol bien, porque no soy bueno pateando el balón. Kicking, kick, es patear como kickboxer. No sé si han visto ese deporte o esa película, kickboxer, ¿verdad? Entonces, kick es de, de, de patadas. Bien. Luego tenemos conversation number two. Can you, can you sing well? ¿Puedes cantar bien? No, I can't sing at all. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well. Though, she has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't play an instrument either. Miren, aquí es el either. I have no talent in music. Le dice, ¿puedes cantar bien? No, no puedo cantar para nada. Esto significa cuando esté el at all, significa para nada. I have a terrible voice. Tengo una voz terrible. Mi amigo puede cantar muy bien, a pesar de. Eh, luego dice, she has a beautiful voice. Tiene una voz bonita. ¿Puedes tocar un instrumento? No, no puedo tocar un instrumento. Tampoco, either, tampoco. I have no talent in music. No tengo talento en la música. Muy bien. Vamos a las palabras pretty, can, can't, high, luego tenemos kicking, at all, at all, terrible, terrible, 
tough voice either. Okay. Maybe we can have a screenshot. Me parece que sí. Ah, gracias, Lea. Sí, me imaginé que, que se veía pues ahí el, el audio. Uh, gracias, Annelies. Ok, we're going to practice in pairs. Vamos a practicar en eh, pareja. Solo nos quedan 16 minutos. Ya estamos casi por terminar. Y mañana la última clase. Ok, let's practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un poco con esto. Ok, so see you in a moment. Lo veo en un momento. Helen, puedes conectarte. No sé si ya te llegó la solicitud. Helen, puedes conectarte, no sé si tienes dificultades con la estabilidad del, del internet. El internet lo tengo malo, teacher. Pero este sí, me puedo conectar. Ah, va, va, va. Si no, permítame. No, 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 quédate aquí. Eh, vas a practicar con Mario porque lo voy a traer acá a, esta, a la sesión principal. Eh, Mario, puedes practicar acá con Helen. Porque tiene dificultades. Sí, para... A eso venía yo, que no podía. No sí, estaba ajá. solo. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces practica acá con, con, con Helen, please. Chévere, con gusto. Okay, please. Helen, ¿lista? Sí, lista. Ok, inicio. Uh, so, to, are you good at, at the sports? I am pretty good. And sport. I can play basketball and baseball, and I can run pretty fast. But I can jump that that high. Can you play soccer? No, can play soccer well because I am not good at touching the bas the ball. Okay, so can you sing well? No, I can sing at all. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well. And okay. no me recuerdo cómo se pronunciaba esta. Toe, toe. To. To. Yes, toe. Uh -huh. He has a beautiful voice. Okay. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't play an instrument. Eight. Either, either. 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 Mm -hmm. I have no talent in music. Okay. Si crees, intercambiamos ahora iniciado desde la primera. Okay. So, so are you good at the sport? I am pretty, pretty good at the sports. I can play best, can play best basketball and baseball, and I can run pretty fast, but I can't jump that high. Can you play soccer? No, I can play soccer well, because 
I am not good at kicking the ball. Can you sing well? No, I can't sing at all. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well, too. She has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't play instrument either. I have no talent in music. Quiero ver de las palabras difíciles es either, toe, y la otra sería kick, kicking, dijo, ¿verdad? Kicking. Kicking. Mm -hmm. kicking. Kicking. Yes, that's it. Well, thank you. Bien, vamos a ver, tenemos conversation one and two. Um, let's listen to some of you. Vamos a ver, Carly, nos apoyas con number one. Who was your classmate? ¿Quién fue tu compañero? Okay, okay. okay please. Okay. Mm. So, Todd, are you good at the sport? I am pretty good at the sport. I can play basketball and baseball. Uh, and I can run pretty fast, but I cannot jump that high. Can you play, play soccer? No, I cannot play soccer well because I am not good at kicking at kicking the ball. Okay, very nice. Now let's listen conversation two. Maybe Marvin, can you help us? Who was your classmate? Aneris. Okay, Aneris. Inicias okay. tú, Marvin. Okay. Can you sing well? No, I can't sing at all. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well. So she has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't play an instrument either. I have no talent in music. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Very well pronunciation. Bien, solo nos quedan nueve minutos y terminamos con esta pregunta. Okay, who has had the most influence in your life? And we're going to listen this time to Jimmy. And then we go with Catherine. Okay, Jimmy, are you ready? So okay. Your answer, please. Uh, my mother and grandmother, uh, because I am working, working and play the possible. Okay, very nice. Yes, that, that, that is very common that our parents work as um, possible as, as they can. Trabajan tanto como sea posible. So that's why we have to be grateful. Tenemos que estar muy agradecidos. Thank you, Jimmy. What about if we listen to Catherine and then Jocelyn? Okay. My mother, because she is an example for of strong old single she was little she the little she always tried to get a help okay. she always tried to give me a good education and values oh wow that that's so important thank you Catherine very nice we go with Jocelyn and then William Okay, if Jocelyn's not ready, what about William? Okay, my teacher, Luis Santos Bonilla, is my guide in the university. Okay, very interesting, a teacher. So it means that he is a really good person, okay? Thank you. What about if we listen to Carly and then Marvin? Okay, and is my grandmother. Uh, okay. Because she doubt me that no matter uh, matter what problem I have, I have to trust that God can help me solve it. Yes, that's it. No matter what, no importa que everything is possible. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Marvin and then David. Uh, Marvin, are you there? Well, if Marvin is not ready, what about David? 
Uh, my mom, because okay. she is a workaholic and she is always disposed to help others. Oh, nice. Well, being a workaholic is something good, but it has also some negative aspects because they have a lot to do. Siempre tienen algo que hacer, right? Yes. Well, um, Carly and then Helen. Ah, no, Carly ya pasó. Ivania and then Helen. Okay, sister. Mm -hmm. oh, my. my mother, uh, because she still has passion with me, despite being an adult. Okay, very nice. Yes, mothers are always our heroines. And Helen, uh, ready? Ready. Okay. And um, my son because everything i do is for him and to be the best for him i want him to be well yes and that's like motivation verdad es parte como de la motivación de cada quien verdad los hijos verdad las hijas is so important in life okay thank you my friends bien para antes de pasar la la lista por por por, por esta vez comentarles que Mañana es la última clase. Este, vamos a desarrollar este, la encuesta final durante la clase, no antes de la clase, porque vamos a ir paso a paso y principalmente porque ustedes son el grupo uno. O sea, nunca han desarrollado esta encuesta. Entonces la van a desarrollar conmigo y nos, vamos, nos va a llevar algo de tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque por eso hay que ingresar ciertos números. Es fácil. Pero uh, nos piden que solo la hagamos una vez, ¿verdad? No, no se puede hacer otra vez porque entra en problemas, ¿verdad? Con administración, ¿verdad? Y es mejor eh, anticiparnos a las dificultades. Uno. El otro punto es que tienen hasta mañana para hacer el examen final y la tarea número cuatro. Si mañana, después de la clase, no está realizado el examen o la tarea 4, lo siento, pero van a tener dificultades con su nota. Así que felicito a la mayoría, solo son tres que me hacen falta. Tres les hace falta el examen final y la unidad 4, así que tienen mañana. Ahora o mañana, sugiero que ahora lo hagan. Porque si lo hacen mañana, yo de, directamente después de la clase paso las notas, ¿verdad? Y si ustedes no tienen allí, pues ya, ya la, la nota final va a ser tanto difícil porque van a tener problemas para aprobar el curso. Imagínense, se han matado dos horas durante todos estos 20 días para que no pasen el curso, como que mmm, no, ¿verdad? La parte más fácil les hace falta. Así que ánimo, ánimo, ustedes pueden. Y lo último, siempre en, los, en todos los, los grupos que tengo, al final de, 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 de la última clase siempre nos tomamos una foto así de captura de pantalla, ¿verdad? Eso que, para que les quede... Como de recuerdo, normalmente van a tener nuevos compañeros o van a tener los mismos y ha sido un grupo bien genial, ¿verdad? Les digo desde ya porque han habido otros grupos que me reclaman porque les digo y no se han peinado o andan todos de pelado. Me han reclamado como no tienen idea. Por eso mejor desde ya se los anticipo y desde ya se los estoy diciendo, ¿verdad? Mañana en la última clase tomamos una última captura y eso pues nos queda como de recuerdo. Así que I'm going to check the attendance list. No sé si hay dudas. Voy a pasar la lista de asistencia. Ok, ven, vamos con la lista. Eh, Elizabeth, hi. Hi, teacher. Ok, Adela, no sé si está por acá. Eh, Denis, Federico, Flor. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Present. Nice, Gladys, Aneris. Present. Helen, thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Hola, no está. Jimmy. Present. Thank you. Ivania. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Carly. Good night, teacher. Good night. Catherine. Present. Nice. Uh, Lea. Present, teacher. Good. David. Present. Nice. Uh, Mario. Presente. Good. Marvin. Ok. William. And Jocelyn. Present teacher. Okay. Nice. William, te quedas ahora, te toca la sesión de, de final, ¿verdad? 
Así que el resto nos vemos mañana. No falten, please, no falten. Mañana es la última clase y de ahí nos quedamos de vacaciones, ¿ok? Pasen buenas noches. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, bye, bye my friends. Ok, William, eh, esta sesión normalmente pasa súper rápido. Esos minutos se van bien rápido, así que uh -huh. comentarte. Podemos hacer dos cosas, ya sea revisar cualquier tema que te parezca un poco complicado o tengas dudas, o te puedo uh -huh. realizar una entrevista básica, así corta. Tú decides. Mm, si quieres la... Mire, una, la duda más grande que tengo yo de todo esto Dime. es sobre lo, de la, sobre, sobre lo de las terceras, o sea, ¿cómo se define la tercera persona en English? ¿Cómo así? ¿Cómo se vaya. define? Ajá. O, sea, o, sea, o sea, vaya, yo logro, o sea, no, o sea, lo he buscado y todo, pero o sea, no, no, no encuentro una idea concisa la cual seguir siempre, pues, sobre terceras personas. Ah, ya te capté. Sí, 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 sí. Uh -huh. Eso es, lo, o sea, eso es la piedra angular de mi problema. Uh -huh. Sí, te capto, te capto, te capto. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya sé por dónde va la cosa. Ahorita te explico. Solo quiero ver este material que lo tengo por acá. Bien. Eh, yo les eh, enseñé esta clase donde están las terceras personas, ¿verdad? Que te acordás que yo todavía les hice este cuadrito acá. ¿Verdad? Ajá, vaya. Ahora. Estas terceras personas están como pronombres. El pronombre es él, el, 